Hi guys, welcome to NS Nail Advice, our new series where you guys send me pictures of your nails and I try to figure out what's going on with your nails and give you advice on how to make them better. So in today's video, we are doing something exciting. So first of all, look at my cursor. It's huge. <laughs> So thank you so much. A couple of people mentioned that I need to figure out how to use a bigger cursor so you, can, you guys can see what I'm doing. And we figured it out. So I hope you can see everything this time. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about nail shape. Can the nail be corrected? Can the nails be transformed? And the answer is yes, to a certain degree, definitely yes. And I'll show you an example of one of my clients, how her nails got transformed with just simple manicures, with very gentle manicures. But first, let's see this viewer, what she writes. She says, I would love advice on my nails, especially the blue dot that is on my finger on the corner of the nail. It's been there for quite a while. I have never had nice nails and they have grown flat at the tips. I'm not sure if this can be corrected. I was a nail biter as a child and um, I work with my hands. As you can see, I'm right-handed. The nails are worse on that hand. They break at the tips a lot and I'm scared to go to the salon as I'm sure they would cut my skin around the nails. And thank you so much for using the correct term. That is exactly what you should be saying. They would cut the skin around the, your nails as they have in the past, very sadly. So I'm going to fix my nails myself with your guidance and videos. So thank you so much for sending me the pictures and your note and your questions. And I'm definitely going to try to help you. And you know what, guys, when it comes to salons, I'm not anti-salon. I have a salon. I have clients. But salons need to understand as well that sometimes people try to obviously do their own nails and skip the salon, not because, you know, they're cheap or they don't want to spend the money, but it's because they've had bad experiences in the past. And sadly, the price does not always go in hand in hand with quality. And I've had numerous, numerous clients that told me they got sadly really, really bad service at even very high end salons. So, you know, no wonder that clients just don't have the trust in the industry anymore. So I find educating the client is very important because that raises the bar generally for the services and for the whole industry. So it's a win-win situation. Okay, let's look at her nails. So the blue dot, first of all. And you know what? Sadly, I don't know what it is. And by the way, thank you so much for sending me such good quality picture because you can see that I can, I can zoom in and we can really see what's going on. I don't know what that is. Um, it could be like a broken vessel maybe or something. I would just maybe talk to a dermatologist or something. It looks like it's inside the skin. So sadly, I can't help you with that, but I can help you with many other things. So she says she has never had nice nails and they have grown flat at the tips and she's not sure if that can be corrected. You know what? Yes. So I would recommend, let's look at her nails. I would recommend... Um, the shape to be changed a little bit and I would recommend the, the shape to be a little bit rounder so taking off the edges a little bit not pointy but kind of maybe almost following the shape of your nail bed and just kind of taking them in and I will show you a picture of uh, my client and she had a very similar shape nails so first of all I would recommend shortening the nails to um, a shape that works for you because you know what very often uh, we think that having long nails it's something that should be normal but the thing is working with hands um, and being harder on your hands sometimes makes having long nails just impossible it's just very impractical and yes you will break them so in order to have longer nails we really have to be very very good at taking care of them so if you can't really do that or your work kind of prevents that then just keeping them shorter really really helps because then you don't break them really high so i would keep them all the white part at the same um, length so and keep them softer and nicely filed so there was no harsh edges I would smooth this one as well so like I would kind of file it this way and just take in the the, the, the sides a little bit without filing into the sides okay same thing with this nail let's see okay like this and shorter so with this nail, I can see that there is a 
like a crease here. People call it a ridge, but it's but it's not really a ridge. It's almost like a crease in the nail. So that sometimes suggests very often some kind of damage in the area where the nail is forming, in the matrix area, which is underneath the, the skin here. So sometimes the cells are just not producing the nail perfectly. And um, in some areas, there is just less cells being produced. So it looks like it's in this area, there was just less cells. And in this area then, what's going to happen is there are areas where the cells are not really bonded very well together and they just start to split. And unfortunately in this area, usually people end up with splits. So keeping this nail a little bit shorter and smooth around the edges is going to help um, to prevent this. Also using a lot of oils and just caring for the, for the nail as it's growing will prevent these from, from happening. And why do I recommend oils? Um, the reason why I recommend oils is because oils are, um, as you can imagine, this little glue that keeps the nail cells together. So when that glue is gone, when the oils are gone, the cells are then basically falling apart. They are breaking down. They are loose. And that's what's happening with the nail. So replacing oils that we wash off um, from our hands is so, so important. That's why I recommend applying a tiny amount of oil on your hands and creams that have ceramides to, after each time you wash your hands, to replace those oils so that can, the skin barrier and the nail can stay together and be nice and strong. Now, the skin around the nails it's not actually bad, it's just dry. You see, this hand is a little bit better. So you can see the cuticle peeking through. Um, the the proximal nail fold is a little bit broken up, like it should be a little bit healthier, but it's not, it's not terrible. So I would highly suggest doing uh, a gentle manicures like I always show you guys. And, you know, not expecting perfection, enjoying the process, because you know what? Um, these situations are like, let's just kind of compare it to almost like losing weight. So making all these changes is not going to make an overnight huge difference, right? So the next day you might do your manicure and the next day you're like, you know what, the nails are not looking that much better. But when you keep doing that on a regular basis and you keep caring for your nails on a regular basis, eventually you'll see a big difference. Again, same thing with losing weight. You decide, okay, you know what? I'm going to make small changes because in my opinion, that's the best way of going about it. Just making small, small life changes. So you decide to, you know, have a little bit more movement and, you know, maybe pay a little bit more attention to, to the food, like just choosing maybe a, a, a better choices, choosing better choices, choosing better foods. And, you know, in a day or two, three, you're not going to see a, a difference whatsoever. But you have to trust in the process and believe that eventually that's going to change and that's how things change big time. So I'm going to show you pictures of um, of one of my clients to see and to show you how the nails changed. Okay, this is her original picture when she first came. Okay, so here it is. And let's look at her nails. So this was um, her initial picture. And this was a few months later. Uh, I mean, like three months later or something. So I started, all I did is I started shaping the nails. So these three are shaped. This one isn't shaped yet. And I just followed the, the usual manicures that I do. And let's compare the nails. Okay, so the skin around her nails is very good. Here it looks dry because we removed polish from her nails and I started um, filing her nails. But look at the, the length of the nail bed. And the whole nail looks a little bit more narrow, right? Let's look at the pinky. Right? The nail bed is different. It's longer. Just with a gentle shaping. And the thing is, the problem is, very often people try to get this shape right away and they file into the sides, which is not what I did. I just softened this this area. That's it. As the nail grew, 
it shaped itself that way. Let's look at this nail. Look at that difference. And you will kind of ask, how are they growing? How the nail bed extended? Because we really didn't leave the nails that much longer. And to be honest with you, I really don't know how this is happening. But I do notice that when people get regular manicures and they keep just a, a coat of clear nail polish even on her nails, on their nails, somehow it changes how the nails are growing. It just changes the nails. So this is exactly what I would recommend. Let's see, actually, no, look at this. Oh my goodness, right? This nail and this nail. This is the same nails, guys. Incredible, right? Yeah, so just, it's absolutely possible to change the shape of your nails. And also, another thing is that her nails used to be more flat, as you can see here, and they're a little bit more curved, and I think that comes from the nail polish wear as well. So this is absolutely possible. Look at this nail. These have a little bit more curve, naturally. I didn't really do anything else to the nails. And let's check out how her nails looked after taking a short break from manicures, I, I think like a month or two. You can see this was just the same day before and after. How just even shaping the nails, taking the, the corners off, changes the look of the nails, right? And polishing them. This is absolutely incredible. So by the way, there was, um, this manicure is, um, is on um, this YouTube channel, so I can link this below as well. But you can see the big difference, right? How the nails are looking. Yeah, like even looking at this nail. I know it's not very visible, but it just looks um, much better. And you know, very often people ask about the shaping, and... You know, I'm not going to lie, it's, you have to kind of develop the hand for it and you have to develop the eye for it. The most important thing is that the lines are soft. So whenever I file the nails, I, the, the last few strokes are just kind of hugging the whole surface of the free edge, which makes for a very, very consistent shape and very uh, smooth shape. So there is no like hard edges. On, on the nails, right? So they're just smooth, smooth edges. This is the same before and after in, in the same day. See how shaping the nails just changed how the nails looked. It's absolutely incredible. So again, I'm not filing too high. I start filing the edge where the, the natural free edge starts. I don't file into the sides. As you can see there is nothing missing here because that way you are weakening the whole structure of the nail. So the slope starts where the free edge starts. What's happening here is that, as I've explained in the previous videos, it's not that the cuticle is overgrown, but the proximal nail fold, which is the living skin here, for some reason got stuck to the nail and as the nail is growing the skin is being pulled with the nail so just gently pushing it back a little bit it's not going to be perfect the first time it's not probably going to be perfect the second time but eventually you're going to kind of train the skin to sit really really nicely around the nail and like I said, using the, the urea-based cream on a regular basis, it's going to help as well. There are these little areas that are, you know, a little bit separated, which is a little bit concerning, but sometimes it's just due to trauma and, and hitting the nails. And um, I wouldn't be too, too concerned unless this gets a little bit bigger. But right now, like I said, just shortening the nails and making sure that they're nice and even is going to make a big difference. Okay, so I guess this is it for today's video. This is all the advice that I, I would give to Monica, to the person who sent me the pictures. And Monica, if you would be so kind, I would absolutely love seeing your progress. So if you could send me pictures in even a couple of weeks or in a month, just showing me how you are progressing with your nails, I would really, really appreciate that and maybe we can do another video with showing viewers how this easy advice can be easily followed and how the nails can change over time okay so thank you so much guys for watching keep sending me those pictures and hopefully i'll see you soon bye <music>